Hey everybody, it's Faith from Firesign Tarot. Hope everybody is well. Capricorn Aquarius, it's time for your Cuss Baby Monthly. If it resonates, cool. If it don't, it's just not your message. And that's okay. We'll try again next month. Time and energy are both fluid. And if you're in here cross-watching, I got to give you props. Because you're going to extreme lengths to figure out who you're dealing with, ain't you? <laughs> Alrighty. Anybody new and old is always welcome at my table. If you are new here, I think we might vibe and stuff and get along. You can hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. If you're returning, welcome back. Thanks for popping back over. I missed your face. Anybody can hit the like button at any time. It all helps the channel and it all helps the videos be circulated to those who might need the message. Never make a life-altering decision based on a tarot reading. I don't care whose cards they are. And once again, if it's just not your story, walk away. Don't take it with you if it doesn't belong to you. This is an interesting split. Ten of Swords upright, Ten of, ten of Pentacles reversed. Ooh. Capricorn Aquarius cuss babies, y'all putting something to a painful end. Finally figuring out something is not for your highest good or your abundance. Oh, tower reversed in the hangman. Some y'all might be hung up on something, hung up on rebuilding something with somebody. Okay, I think we're there. Heavenly Father, Mother of the Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, Archangels, I ask for any messages you have for the collectives, Capricorn, Aquarius, Cusp Babies. Thanks for coming down and hanging out with me today. I appreciate you. I'm grateful and thankful for this gift that I've been given, and I ask that you help me use it to bring all querents to this video to their highest possible spiritual good, put them on their highest possible spiritual path. All right. Seven of Wands. The Fool reversed. King of Swords, Ace of Cups, Six of Pentacles. Why? Nicely done. I fucking love this. Bottom of the deck, Ten of Wands, you are releasing a burden. Okay. Overall energy is the Seven of Wands, so you're taking charge, you're rising up, you're defeating your demons, that's amazing. The challenge is the full reverse. Something's still scaring the shit out of you. Upcoming events for the month, and remember time is fluid. King of Swords, Ace of Cups, Six of Pentacles. The King of Swords makes logical, non-emotional choices, period. Sometimes brutally honest, we'll throw a clarifier on that in a second. You might have a new start coming in. That's amazing. Could bring equality. Could be an equal give and take situation. Could bring things back into balance. Why it's all happening. Magician reversed. The world in the seven of cups reversed. I don't like that upside down magician. That's a puppet string puller. That's a manipulator. Feel like you put an end to something that was bringing in confusion so you could have a new start. The outcome here, Nine of Swords reversed. That's an end to the inner chaos. The make or break is the Eight of Wands in the reverse. Eight of Wands is a card of communication forward movement. 
in the reverse, it's the lack thereof. I'm feeling like as long as you continue a cut off in communication with someone, you're going to do good. As long as you uh, release the burden and release it for good. Let's get some clarity. I don't think I need much clarity on this one. Just a little bit. I want to know what you're afraid of. Universe Source Spirit Guides. Tell me what my Cappy Aqua Cuss babies are afraid of. Why is the challenge the full reverse? Talk to me. Talk to me. Talk to me. Why is the full reverse? Justice reversed. Nine of Wands reversed. Ten of Wands reversed. You're afraid because you're still not balanced. You're afraid because you're still burdened. You're afraid because you're still hanging on to it. Talk to me about the King of Swords. What's the King of Swords all about? It's air sign energy. Could be Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. King of Swords reversed and the Page of Swords reversed. Are you done spinning now? Can I flip you over? Thank you. Nice. Nice. Making the non-emotional decision to stop putting energy into one thing, start pursuing something else. It's the page, so you've learned your lessons. Might be an apology, I don't know. Small offer. You're slowly working toward this. Okay. Why the Ace of Cups? Oh, hi. Wheel of Fortune into Justice Upright. Ace of, <laughs> Ace of Coins into the Two of Coins reversed. Oh, shoot. Really? Well, whoever this is or whatever this is, this new start is destined to come in. It's going to restore balance. It's an upward turn of events. It's, def it's destiny speaking. Could be an old seed that didn't grow. One in the Ace of Corns reversed. Three of Coins reversed. And the Four of Coins reversed. I have to go chase that card. Pardon me. I have to pause. Okay, I haven't seen it yet. Page of Swords. Wow. Page of Swords to the Knight of Swords. Could be quick. Could be sudden. It's air sign energy. I feel... And this is super weird. I feel like it's something that didn't grow in the past. Something you already let go of once. I feel like it's something coming back in. Message, text message, phone call from afar maybe. 
And give me one more on that. Three swords to the four of swords, seven of coins to the eight of coins. Hmm. Yeah. This is already something you've, you've either processed a heartbreak with or they processed a heartbreak that came from you. But this was about divine timing. With that wheel of fortune and the seven of pentacles, this was a matter of divine timing. Very nice. I like it. Why the Six of Pentacles for the last event? Why the Six of Pentacles? Four of Wands speaks to stability, so we have stability and balance. Could be a con of Seven of Swords. Oh, gosh. That's where the conflict comes in with the Five of Wands. Seven of Swords to the Eight of Swords. This is going to come in, and whatever the hell this is, whatever the hell you're afraid of, yeah. Seven of Swords to the Eight of Swords is going to come back and fuck with your head again. Why is it going to happen? Someone's trying to manipulate you. Why the magician reversed? Six of Wands reversed, seven of Wands reversed, huh? One more. The Chariot into Strength. The close. Oh. Oh. Yeah, they held back. They watched from the shadows. They kept their distance. They held back. One more. Queen of Swords. Possibly because you already cut him out once. Hmm. Why the world? Why the world? Four of Wands reversed to the Four of Wands reversed. You walked away from the stock, knew it wasn't going to be stable. You ended it. You ended it. You cut him out. You ended it. Empress reversed to the Emperor reversed. It wasn't going to grow. Nothing was going to come of it. You ended it. They tried to manipulate you. They're coming back to manipulate you. I see you ending it. Why is Seven of Cups reversed? Eight of Wands reversed and the Nine of Wands reversed, throwing in the towel. Enough with your confusion. Enough with your empty cups. Enough with your empty cups. You want this full cup. You don't want a bunch of empty cups. King of coins reversed to the page of coins reversed. They... You already threw the towel on this once. You know that they're not what they say they are. You're going to end communication and throw the towel in. All right, bring me over here. You're on the right track, but they're going to keep coming back to try to screw with you. Tell them I'm seeing this right now. I see you just putting it out of your head. One of the Nine of Swords reversed. 
Queen of Wands to the King of Wands, yeah. Going after what you want and getting it, and it is not this. It's not whatever the hell this was. You want balance. You want stability. Somebody's going to come back in to screw with that. Knight of Cups reversed to the Queen of Cups reversed. You're going to have to reject a cup. You have to reject a cup once and for all. This is like some weird love triangle. I'm feeling, and I do have two threes on the board, so I feel weird love triangle. Somebody returning from the distant past. I want to try to give it a go with them. And whoever the hell this was. Oh, you're balanced and happy and content? Yeah, I'm going to come back and screw with your head. Eight of Wands reversed. Make a break. Silence. Can you maintain the silence? Can you say, I don't want your sticks in your cups? Knight of Coins into the Queen of Coins reversed. Yeah, stagnation. Reject the offer. World reversed, full reversed. Yeah, I think they're going to keep trying to uh, restart a dead engine, but you don't trust any farther than you can throw them. I see that. Knight of Wands to the Queen of Wands. I see them riding in and out of your life for a minute, and it's up to you what you do with it. All right. Give me a crystal power. Give me a crystal power for my Capricorn Aquarius cusp babies. Two of cups. I am worthy of the deepest kind of love. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. One more. Queen of Wands. I am naturally creative. You create what you want, don't you? King of Pentacles in the upright. I am sure of my place in the world. This is what you're chasing after. You're chasing after somebody who's sure about what they want. Somebody who's not going to come in and out and keep messing with your head. All right. Give me a Wisdom Oracle. Oh, hi. No place like home. Bottom of the deck, change in the wind. Okay. Number 50, no place like home. Home feels safe and secure. It's a comfortable place to rest and create. A place that is known and you can call yours. This card signals that your ability to trust yourself and feel at home in your own skin is beginning to solidify as you claim your dignity and integrity. Aspects of yourself no one can take away from you. You know who you are. You hold your head high. Yet with neither pride nor humility. Instead, you stand as the observer, seeing through the eyes of your soul. This puts you in a position of power and strength. Authenticity is your home. You are safe here in the house of your spirit and spirit. Wow. Change in the wind, number 12. Number 12. It's human nature to yearn for certainty and resist change. To want the world to remain consistent like a zebra's stripes. 
yet nothing in the human experience is black and white. Nor will anything remain static. The one thing guaranteed is change. Now is a time of transformation as outer conditions are temporarily moving out of sync with your desires and expectations. Stay the course and remember even storms serve to clear the air, scatter seeds, and nourish the soil for better things ahead. Life is about to get interesting. Anticipate it with curiosity as you wonder what is coming in on the shifting winds. The unknown is where magic lies. Wow. Cappy Aqua Cusp Babies. All I can say is wow. That was amazing. Okay, guys. This has been your November, December read. I will catch you next month. Know that you are loved and be blessed.